Hello and welcome back to Pam's Money Boxes and Piggy Bank collection. Today I'm asking you to raise your glasses with me while we celebrate, I would say all things alcoholic, but in fact I've only got two at this moment. I have a lot more I can show you, but I'm doing two today. So raise your glasses for a nice glass of Guinness. Guinness is an Irish um, drink. It's made in Ireland. It's been around for about two two centuries. It's they they say it's as smooth as silk, and as good for you as milk. So I don't know. I've I've only ever drunk it as part of a cocktail, um, which was a black velvet, which is um, beer and champagne. And I only had three glasses of it and I can't remember the rest of the night. So um, if you do come across a black velvet, take it easy. OK, um, I haven't taken it out of its packaging ever because it's beautifully packed. Beer money box, Guinness, beer money with a lovely slot, Guinness, beer money box. And on the back it says... Um, this product is intended for purchase and enjoyment by people of legal purchasing age for alcoholic beverages. Always drink responsibly. There is actually no alcohol in it, unless it's in the ceramics. And there is um, the signature of the original founder of the Guinness brand. And so there it is. It's gorgeous. It's really, really convincingly a good glass of beer. Um, and as I say, I shan't be drinking any of it. And that's sadly true for the next money box I have, which is this one. It's very tall and smart and it's a gin fund. It is a money box. It has um, a place to put the coins in at the top. It has two bottles of Schweppes and it has a two bottles of miniature bottles of gin. And it says, well, I can't read that. I'm sorry, it's squirrely writing. Uh, you are the gin, gin fund to my tonic. So it's you are the gin to my tonic. Again, it says it can only be purchased by people over the age of 18, which is fair enough in this case because it is alcoholic. It's got London dry gin and wild berry gin and two, two cans of sweeps. And there it is. It doesn't have a stopper because you take the front off, which I'm not going to do in case it all falls out. I've never taken this, the front off. But again, it's a drink I don't drink. I have drunk, but it always makes me cry if I drink gin. So I never drink it now. I used to try, but no. Um, so two beautiful drinks in two lovely ways of displaying, but unfortunately not for me. So thank you very much for watching and if you like me, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like me, subscribe and if you really, really like me, raise your glass to me and come back and visit me another day. Thank you. Bye bye.